Well, hey folks, Captain Kent here, back with some Going Medieval, and uh, did a little bit of work off camera, let them get caught up with a lot of jobs. Also, kind of set up some stockpiles in here, moved another workstation in here, the breakdown station, and we're now breaking down uh, anything good and below. Uh, let's see here, we're still waiting on uh, materials to be able to craft some armor and yeah just cranking out some bows when they're needed here um, and then over here we're gonna make another workshop uh, not quite sure what this one's gonna be but uh, what I do want to do is start prepping up some more bedrooms because uh, we're definitely gonna need uh, need those for sure and let's let's get the uh, the door handles heading that way Yes, this way. And then another one like so. And now let's get our wall sections in there and uh, make sure I'm laying this out proper style. And I think that's right. One, two, three. Yep. Boom. And boom. Uh, go back. One, two, three. And boom. And boom. All right super duper great all right now what i want to do i'm going to head down here oh yeah also something else i started doing is uh getting these uh, uh stockpiles down here which uh also uh, research i need to get into research uh furniture too i'm going to unlock this in just a minute just to get the armor racks and then start getting these stockpiles uh, off the ground but first what i want to do i'm going to move this bedroom and we're going to put it here and we're going to do the same thing down here i'm going to turn these bedrooms into churches uh, let's see let's move this one flip you around grab those brazers also um oh and uh i did a little bit of testing off camera with these brazers and the fuel that they use and uh, loaded one up with sticks one with coal and uh, uh, one with wood uh, let's see here and um, the burn time was exactly the same on all of them it, it's a five hour or a five day burn time and it doesn't it didn't matter whether or not i had uh sticks or wood i'm trying to find the ones that i actually had set up like that but um i'm not finding them right now okay yeah right here um the percentages that that they're burning um doesn't seem to change either depending on whether it's coal or sticks uh these two right here just coal and uh wood are the only comparison I'm able to show on the fly. But yeah, burn times uh, don't seem to uh, be affected. So uh, I don't know what's up with that. I thought that uh, the material that you used in, um, in those braziers had an effect on how long they burned. But uh, I, I must have been mistaken on where I read that. Uh, hello, Merchant Caravan. Maybe I'll remember to take a look at your stock when you finally show up. Uh, but uh, it's likely that I will forget all about you. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's get some arches in there to match our footprint down below. And let's see. Have they? Nope, they have not cleared this stuff out. Oh get back down there and let's move this bookshelf as well okay you did not want a place there all right let's try that again all right flip you around all right there worked that time that's good okay grab this one and there all right now, let's get into research. Uh, Mr. Furniture 2, thank you very much. I do appreciate you being furniture number two. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, I'll wait until they get all this stuff cleared out, uh, including... I can go ahead and just uh, 86 these, uh, these stockpiles right here. 
and uh, get that one out, get this one out, and I've got a, uh, a fine linen um, winter clothing. All right. Uh, yep. Deerman's grabbing it. We're, oh, he's going to move it over here. Cool. All right. Um, Carl, you come over here. You equip that uh, that winter clothing and see if I've got any others kind of sitting around. It does not look like uh, they have any more winter clothing completed. Um, yep. And let's see. I think Mr. Cheese might be working on some right now. But you're working on summer clothing. No. No. No, you save that. that no, you save this for winter clothing. We need winter clothes more than we need summer clothes right now because, uh, yeah, uh, winter is approaching. Oh, and while I'm looking at it, a lot of beets sitting on the on out in the fields, um, I'm getting a, a surplus of the beets. Oh nope, those are meals and raw food beets. Yeah, we're getting uh, we're getting a surplus of that. So I toned the uh, the size of the crop field down, and I could probably even half this one. But uh, I'm going to let it ride out for now. I also want to keep an eye on my crops and the temperature and harvest everything I can before um, everything freezes and, yeah, goes to goes to doo-doo. Uh, boy, they, um, all right, they're, they're building all the, the hardware first, the floors and the ceilings and everything before they move all this stuff uh it would be nice if they uh if they got this stuff moved because i want to put a church in here and that way we got two churches on the bottom floor and two churches on the second floor and then we'll probably maybe keep that pattern going on the third floor uh, but I also need to start thinking about what kind of workshop I'm going to put in here. In fact, no, I'm not. I don't need to think about which workshop I'm, uh, I'm going to do because I, I know. I am, let's see, can I make, I don't have media. I don't, oh, yeah, I do have large tables and medium tables available. Let's see, uh, how big is a, oh boy. That's really big. Uh, all right. What I need to do. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to have to move this arch uh, is what I'm going to have to do. Let's make a copy of it. Let's put it right there instead because I need to make a copy of these stairs and place them right there. And let's, uh, let's place that one right there there um having the two stairs side by side uh is a little uh, it, it's twice as many stairs as i need so i might end up just taking one of these uh you know uh, one stair out for each level uh okay uh oh god i'm out of limestone block already um, let's see, how are we doing on raw limestone? Uh, all right, we're good. I, uh, I did some gathering, uh, before I started recording, so we should be good there. Let's keep an eye on everything else. Let's see, the meals are still getting rocked out. All right, cool. Um, yeah, uh, linen cloth. Um, hey, look, I think that's enough to make a uh one of those thingamadigs uh yeah winter clothing uh, but hey let's let's get back to uh, doing uh yeah this stuff right here where we unlocked uh no it's not there it's somewhere uh there it is armor rack okay mr armor racky do 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 um all right, I'm just going to build two of them right there, and then I'm going to set them up and just make a copy of those. And um, actually, I 
kind of want them someplace else. So copy and yeah, I want to like that there instead. All right, speed it up, build that stuff, please. Ah, okay, sweet. They got uh, these old bedrooms cleared out. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Where are you, restitutionists? Uh, let's plop you in right like so. And Oak Brethren, let's get you right there. And now... Uh, let's see, Oak Brethren wall decoration. How about one right there and one right there. Now let's get to the restitutionist wall decorations. Bada bang, bada boom, boom, boom. And um, do I want to put a cauldron uh, in there? I think I'm going to skip the cauldron on these two right here. And if I need to add them, I can. And if I decide to subtract from, uh, God, where is it? These right here, I can take those away. If, uh, you know, dealing with the fuel and everything becomes too much of a pain in the butt, we will, uh, we will deal with that appropriately. All right, well, let's get back to sorting out our armor rack. So uh, let me set this one up. Clear all we want to have. Oh, we're going to do uh, winter clothes. And let's see, a cap. Uh, a cap would be what would go with winter clothing. And I can leave that on a low priority, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and set this one up for summer clothing and straw hats, if we ever end up making those. And, hey, look, that's got some lint, uh, winter clothing on there. Let's get people uh, putting on their, uh, their winter clothing as soon as we make it and get, get them out of their summer. Um, yep, yep, yep. Because, uh, yeah, people are suffering from the cold, and that's uh, that's completely understandable given the situation. All right, so this one is set up for, okay, it will accept, actually, let's take this to one to where it only will accept good or better clothing. And let's do the same over here for the winter setup. And let's see, what do we, all right. They've already got the summer clothing on there. Let's make a copy of this one and plop one there. Uh, let's see how, let's see, uh, we're doing summer clothing. Um, oh, I still got a, a, a couple stockpiles sitting on the ground. Let's make sure we got all the stockpiles deleted. All right, let's go. Let's continue placing the... Did I place this one backwards? Can't really tell. I don't think so. Uh, we'll find out when they put some clothes on it. All right. All right. Uh, let's get over here and flip you around. Uh, summer clothing. Summer clothing. And uh, let's match that over there. Summer clothing. Okay, let's go up a level. Summer clothing there, and uh, let's see, yep, right there, right here, flip you around, there, and there, and let's go ahead and make a copy of this bed, and oop, 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 flip you around that way, and because we're going to keep the routine going of a bookshelf in every room, even though we will probably not fill up all these bookshelves, it's still kind of fun to have a bookshelf in every room, I think. And let's uh, copy of that uh, brazier and might as well get it prepped up for over here as well. Uh, yep, make a copy and plop you on the wall, another, another bed, and uh, 
get you flipped around there. All right, super duper great. Let's scroll back down now. Let's make a copy of our uh, winter clothing. Ah, oh, I almost forgot uh, one room right there. Let's, uh, all right. Uh, uh, what is it? Summer clothing. And let's see, get you right there. Then grab the winter clothing. And, oh, yep, yeah, boom. All right. Yes, armor racks uh, for clothing done. And still waiting on them to finish the ceiling here. Oh, goodness. I didn't realize I'd given them so much work. God, they haven't even finished this arch yet. Boy. All right, crank the speed up and uh, let them let them do their thing. And yes, uh, uh, winter is approaching. So uh, uh, let's see. Oh, this is definitely not going to be ready. None of the none of this barley is going to be ready in time. Uh, I wonder if I should let it grow a little bit if it's still showing growing maybe uh all right hit points these things are starting to take damage maybe because of the cold all right let's let's check our flax oh great they they harvested this flax field right here and uh yeah temperature conditions not met so they're not going to replant but uh ripening uh in three days um Let's see, how's this stuff doing? Uh, four hit points. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know whether I should go ahead and start harvesting this stuff right now. Uh, people are suffering from the cold. Let me, uh, oh God. <laughs> ah, stress. Okay, I think at this point I just need to let them run for a little while and get caught up on a lot of the uh, a lot of the labor that I've got for them and then their normal uh, routine schedules of farming stuff. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? I, uh, I harvest it. Uh, I'm going to grab what I can from this stuff. Uh, maybe a bad idea. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if are they, uh, they're at least getting something out of it, I think. Let's see, what did he grab? Uh, one cabbage. Um, <laughs> I'll take it. If it's, it's one cabbage, uh, more than I would have if I left it, I believe. That's my theory. Uh, you know what? Since we're good on beets, I'm just going to leave beets alone. Uh, yes, I am. And pretty sure the red currant is not too affected with uh, temperatures, so uh, at least I've never seen it disappear from it being too cold. I'm sure it stops growing at some point, but um, yep, 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 we're not there. Uh, all right, I want to start thinking about a great hall. So let's uh, let's find a medium table. All right, let's we'll start with this simple layout. Uh, probably a little overkill on the chairs, but that's fine. Um, I, I rarely see them sitting in these chairs to sit down and eat. Every once in a while they will. But uh, yeah, medium high quality table surrounded with some stuff. Uh, chairs, uh, being chairs. And now, oh, I might need to open up... Um, uh, decorative banners. Uh, I uh, I forgot about that uh, being uh, one of the things that need to go in here. But uh, meanwhile, we will uh, get some of the other items up and running. I believe. Um, well, let's just look real quick what uh, what it does take to make a great hall. Well, I, uh, I could just end up going with a total of eight of the uh, deer heads and shields. I don't have to have actual banners in there, but uh, I think it would look kind of cool um, having some of the decorative banners in there. So let's unlock them and uh, 
get over here and we'll do um yeah i'll start with oh yeah dang linen cloth oh crap i don't have <laughs> ah shit and actually do i have any i'll tell you what let's let's uh oh i can't uh can't harvest this stuff oh i wonder all right i'm gonna order this one to cut be chopped down and see if i get one linen cloth out of that uh but meanwhile i can put up some yeah we're gonna do iron torches and uh one there and uh, yeah, get them in the corner there. And you know what? I'm already not liking the placement of uh, where I've got those banners. So um, let's just scrap that right now and get back over to where are you? Yep, uh, there and there. So, okay. A lot of um, torches on that wall. All right, well, we can at least uh, prepare and get that all covered up with a ceiling. Uh, groovy, groovy. Let's check on winter clothes production. See if we've got any more. Yes, more winter clothing. We'll, uh, we'll start from the top and work our way down on our settlers and get them all uh, toasty and warm for the winter time. Hopefully. Well, we didn't get any linen cloth for uh, chopping this one, uh, where was it, over here, this one flax plant down early. Uh, so, um, yeah, we, uh, we've got absolutely no textiles in stock. So it's going to be a little bit of time before we actually get the, the Great Hall buff. But I can at least uh, get it prepped up. And uh, I think, oh, no, let's... Uh, flip you around like that and flip you around like that and this would give us one two three four five six uh six um so i need two more decorations in there let's uh, uh oh okay shield there and uh shield oh 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 shield what i can't place it there because it's next to that that's kind of uh a bummer dang well poop um oh hey winter hi how are ya uh okay well we'll stick that there then uh yeah Yep, 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 yep. It might come down and become something else in the future, but uh, we can at least uh, get a little bit closer to making a, a great uh, a great haul. Well, all right, folks, uh, here we are, a full swing winter time now. I'm just going to let them get caught up with some jobs, do a little bit of uh, mining before it gets too cold. But I think we did pretty good. We got a couple more bedrooms set up and I've got our armor racks up for the winter and summer clothing. We just need to get the textiles up and, and I'll likely, as soon as spring hits, I'm going to likely make a pretty large flax field and, and just start stocking up on the textiles. Let's see. We also got a couple churches, uh, added two new churches down there. Uh, let's see, we're on our way to getting the, um, the Great Hall up and running, and I think that's about it that we accomplished today, but, uh, but that's it. We've reached our time limit. Hey, thanks a ton, everybody, for joining me. I hope I get to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. See you. Bye-bye.